pivoting though to the other big uh, NFL development today is the most disrespected projected top five, top ten pick in recent draft history. <laughs> uh, Justin Fields from the Ohio State University clocked yeah. an unofficial 4-4-4 at the Buckeyes Pro Day earlier this afternoon. And it wasn't Jay-Z. just that he ran fast. Look, we know the dude's fast. We know that, yeah, we know the dude's fast. Um, yeah. Whether it's him carrying the football or whether it's him, you know, blocking. We know he can get down the field. We know he can scoot, as they say. Ran for over 1,000 yards, scored 19 touchdowns, dual threat quarterback. A modern prototypical, quarter, prototypical quarterback. So at about 6'3, 230, runs a, a, a 4 4 40 yard dash. The last person to run that fast was RG3, who ran a 4 4 1. And that's since 2006. I'm only, shocked that uh, Lamar didn't run faster than that. Aren't you shocked a, that aren't you shocked that Lamar's not on that list? I'm a guess that Lamar didn't run. That's the only way I could I, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. But my assumption is that he didn't run the 40. <laughs> that's right. the, that's my answer like, to your to your question. That's because if Lamar be Jackson answer. had run a, a, a pre-draft 40-yard dash, ain't no he way might in be hell like four, two, seven. he's running anything <laughs> under. You understand what I'm saying? He might have been like, y'all, <laughs> right. y'all saw the film. Y'all know I could run hell. Bill Polian wants me to play wide receiver. Do I really need to run the 40 to prove that I'm fast? So I'm assuming right. he didn't run. I don't remember for sure, but I'm going to make that assumption. I think it's a safe one. Uh, but anyway, this is RG3-ish, this 4-4-40, 4 4 40-yard dash on the part of Justin Fields. And, he, and more important, for whatever it's worth, I know it's air. I know there's no pass rush. I know there's no pressure. There's no crowd. It's not a game situation. But he made some really good throws. He threw some dimes out there um, at, at Ohio State's Pro Day. And, you know, what happens in this pre-draft process, Michael Holly, as you know, is we develop a case of amnesia. Because it wasn't right. that long ago when Justin Fields was cooking Clemson. And, obviously, he looked awful, as did all of the Buckeyes against all-time great Alabama in the national title game. But Justin Fields, after that Clemson game, it was like, oh, hold on for a second. Justin Fields may give some teams to think about. Now, obviously the film is most important, but I think today he gave some teams more to think about when you add his body of work at Ohio State to his measurables and his testing. I say the most disrespected top five, top ten projected pick in recent draft history is because all the talk seems like it's been about, and I don't want to overstate this because I hate it when people say, nobody's no, talking no, about it. No, no, I think it. you're right on, Maybe no. you weren't talking I, about it. Okay, but I it's think like, you're right maybe on, you no. aren't talking about it or maybe you're not hearing people, but t- from what I can tell, all the talk has been about Trevor Lawrence, Zach Wilson, and even Mac Jones. And Mac Justin Jones. Justin Fields has somehow been forgotten in this process. And somebody... Somebody after the top three picks, assuming that the Niners are, in fact, zeroed in on Mac Jones, somebody is going to get, if such a thing exists, somebody's going to get a steal at four or five or wherever it is, you know, if the Bengals trade out. Somebody's going to get a steal in Justin Fields because somehow he's become an afterthought when it comes to these premier quarterbacks at the top of the draft. Is it just me or are you feeling the same thing? No, it's not just you. It's not just you, and I'll just, uh, you said, you know, somebody's going to get a steal at four or five. I don't know if you saw the comments from Jim Moore Jr., uh, maybe wishful thinking. Uh, He was talking to, I think, a San Francisco uh, website, and he said, yeah, you know, what if, what if the Jets take Justin Fields at two because he kind of fits their offense? They're looking for somebody with that skill set, and he, and that leaves Zach Wilson for the 49ers. But I think that's wishful thinking. Most people, right. most people think that Zach Wilson's going second. But not only, I, you're, you're right on the money here. Not only is Justin Fields the most disrespected top five, because he's going in the top five, top five prospect in recent memory, he comes from the most disrespected conference in the last 10 years. Oh, Lord. Shouts out, Big Ten. No, what up, Big know. Ten? I didn't know. I didn't know that was Come on happen. now. I didn't Come know. on, Big I didn't Ten. Know that was about to happen. As if. As if there's not speed in Ohio, in Indiana, in Illinois, in Michigan, in Pennsylvania. But I digress. Look, he put up numbers. Yeah, please. At Ohio State. Stop (laughs) digressing. I know. He put up numbers at Ohio State 
not just uh, in the at national uh, in the semifinal national semifinal against Clemson. His Ohio State career 63 yeah. and nine. Michael Smith 63 and nine for his career. That's insane. One of the things that Justin Fields has working against him. He had a bad national championship game against Alabama. You're right. He looked bad and so did a lot of the Buckeyes, but it was not a good look and I wish they had stopped it probably like in the third quarter when the game was getting out of hand. You know, stop. <laughs> you know, throwing you in know, the towel. You know, well, you know, I hate not even throwing the towel, that whole thing. What's the same? Okay. Oh, okay. Like, just run it. Just go two minute. Go two minute. Just run the offense. Stop looking for, like, holding your hand. And so when people saw that, combine that bad game against Alabama, combine that with mm -hmm. some rocky games in the regular season against Big Ten competition. So I told you how people feel about the Big Ten. I'm not lying. People don't. Yeah. They, 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 they revere the SEC and everybody else is, is kind of like playing for second or third. They probably SEC is first and second in most people's minds. So we had some bad regular season games. And, you know, as people started to break him down and nitpick him, they would say, hey, well, mechanically, I don't like what he does. And a lot of people talk about his reads. He didn't go to the second read. It was always the first read. But I think you're right in that. Because the first read was so often open at Ohio mm. State for him, he hit it. It's the same thing with Mac Jones. Like, when, when did Mac Jones have to go to his fourth read? When? They were undefeated in the SEC. They crushed everybody. I mean, I, I, nobody was covered. <laughs> So, well, I, I, I think that, I, I get, I get I your point. I'm sure that wasn't always the case, but I get your point. But I mean, I, I, honestly, I think, I think is, look, Justin Fields, yeah, it, yeah, my the talent. They should be got, even talented against them. When, right. When you when you got you got Najee Harris, and you got Jalen, and you got Jalen Waddle, and you got Devontae Smith, you got all the, and you got a great offensive line. Those guys are hard to cover. So even if you know it's going to Jalen Waddle, he's going to get open. And if he's a first read, Mac Jones is going to hit him. I, I think it's. There was a little, it, I, there was some piling on with Justin Fields, and it will be interesting to see where he where he lands. Now, our guy Chris Sims, uh, we had to see his uh, Gary let me get Chris Sims's ratings. Uh, I know his quarterback ratings. He came out uh, his rankings a couple weeks ago. I don't think Chris Sims was too high on Justin Fields. I may be I may be mistaken on that, but I don't think so. But today well, opened some eyes. I'm as, sure. as we, well. Well, Look I don't that. think he opened anybody's eyes. I don't think he opened anybody's what? eyes as much I as much. I mean, oh, oh you're, you're, you're not talking about the rankings. You're not talking about the rankings. You're talking about overall. No, 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 okay. no, no, no I'm not talking about the rankings. I'm talking about I'm talking about Justin Fields. I mean, you, you knew he was fast. When I say opened eyes, I, I, I think he confirmed. I think he confirmed or reaffirmed is what I'm getting at. If he, it, it, there's, there's only. I, I'm trying to keep it in perspective. I mean, four, four, four is impressive. We wouldn't be talking about it if it weren't impressive, okay? But we knew he could run. He just confirmed and reaffirmed that he could move in a straight line very quickly. All right, that's part of the package that you're getting. The throws that he made, um, the, the arm strength that he displayed today. Confirm what we saw at Ohio State. Ultimately, it's going to come down to the film. And you're only as funky as your last cut. And he stunk his last game. Again, Alabama will do that to you. But I remind people that Trevor Lawrence didn't look good against Ohio State, nor did Trevor Lawrence look good against LSU the year before. So I think if you are predisposed to not believing in Justin Fields, whether it's the system, whether it's the recent history of Ohio State quarterbacks, whatever it is, then you'll find reasons to not like Justin Fields. But if you're intrigued by his ability to play quarterback, and make no mistake, he can play quarterback, if you're intrigued by his ability to beat you with both his arms and his legs, and if you like the kid, then what you saw today and what you saw on film at Ohio State, and let's not forget, coming out of high school, he was right there with Trevor Lawrence. He was right okay. there with Trevor okay. Lawrence. There was, not, there was okay. not a great deal of separation in terms of when they came out. So if you're inclined to like Justin Fields, I think what you saw today may excite you. It may, and, and if you're the Niners, maybe you're locked in on Mac Jones, or maybe you were locked in on Mac Jones with the idea of going up to number three. But they did talk yesterday about, hey, you know, we're not going to be left at the altar. We like a lot of these guys. You're right. Could it end up being, could, by some crazy, you know, set of circumstances, could uh, Zach Wilson end up going third? Could Justin Fields go second? 
Who the hell knows? Could somebody jump ahead of the Niners with the Jets? Who the hell knows? A lot of things could happen. That's why the draft is the best thing going. But well, ultimately, let me ask you this, though. I think what's happened throughout this process is Justin Fields, at least on the outside, hopefully the scouts are obviously doing their work and evaluating the film, it feels like, relatively speaking, you can't go to Ohio State, and, and everybody knows who Justin Fields is. I don't want to overstate this. Relatively speaking, relative to the other quarterback prospects, he has been an afterthought no longer after today. Go ahead. What were you about to say? I agree. All right. So let's say, let's say this. I'm going to ask you a question. All right. So the play clock is running down. About four seconds left on the play clock. You on the defense have to declare what you're doing. You, you've been bouncing around. You look like you know, cover two, cover three. No, no, you got to declare now. So now I'm, I'm going to ask you to declare. Your first quarterback. You ask me to that, declare. You know. Okay, that's a. Yeah, that's yeah. a de- I like that declare. metaphor. Okay, cool. You're asking me to declare. So Time's running out. We're about to take two, a break. I got to declare. Which one? Do, what? All right, the first quarterback, uh, Urban Meyer, told Peter King essentially yesterday it's going to be Trevor Lawrence. Yeah, taking, taking Trevor Lawrence, yeah. Who are the next two quarterbacks to go if Michael Smith is drafting? If Michael Smith is picking them, If Michael Smith is drafting? Two? Michael Ooh. Smith is drafting. Who are the next two Ooh. quarterbacks? Okay. If Michael Smith is drafting, look, call me crazy, and I think the hype train has gotten out of control. If I'm Joe Douglas in the Jets, I'm not going quarterback. I'm not going quarterback. Whoa. Um, really? I think the one I, I really? think the one I got has not had a chance, and he's damn good, and he's made of the right stuff. And because they did such a piss-poor job of supporting him the last three years, people think that he's worthless when show me the quarterback that would have succeeded under those circumstances um, that Sam Darnold stepped into. So if I'm Joe Douglas, I'm actually zigging when everybody expects me to zag, but because everybody's expecting him to zag and because that hype train is out of control, I think they feel pressure to take a quarterback. They're going to take Zach Wilson. They're going to take a quarterback. But if it were me, I wouldn't do that. Um, If I'm the Niners at three, which one would I take? Who do I like between – now, if if you're the Niners at three, then I'd take Zach Wilson. Then I'd take Zach Wilson after that. And if you're the Falcons at four, then I'd take Justin Fields. Justin Fields. I, I would, okay. If you're the Falcons at so four, he's your, yeah, yeah, I would take Justin Fields. So you Fields still have him as your third he's about, quarterback? He would be my – yes, yes, what? yes. So that's still not like – he's still – even after all the flowers you just gave him, you still got him as your third quarterback. What you want me to say he's number one? Want me to give him number one? Not Somebody one, but two. Yeah, yeah, right. He was two. He was two most of the yeah. season. He was two. Yeah. And then Zach Wilson came and got I don't him. know. Maybe, maybe, know? maybe, I, maybe, I've been, maybe I've been listening to you too much. You're right. You're right. I did just contra- You did just catch me in a contradiction. Maybe I've been listening to you too much. Maybe, 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 I, maybe I got maybe I got too much Michael Holly in my ear, where I'm sitting up here thinking about thinking that Zach Wilson is the next big thing. You know. So maybe I, maybe I just couldn't bring myself to. Jump Justin Fields over Zach Wilson. Um, at least that's the way. I'll let you tell it. Zach Wilson is Patrick Mahomes I know, reincarnated. Next, so only. Oh yeah, I was gonna say only the next Patrick Mahomes. That's it. I don't know if that's <laughs> no, but listen. If, if, if you're the, if you're the Falcons, um, listen. I, I I know you got Matt Ryan, but Justin Fields being able to sit and learn from Matt Ryan for a year is not a bad thing at all. Year to yeah, whatever you know, it needs to be, but you got an opportunity you to tell set me, yourself up. It's the same thing that the Niners are doing. 